All right, so on this problem, what we want to do is we want to just find dy dx. Now, we're going to have chain rule here, and the reason that we're going to have chain rule is because we've been given this big outer function of cotangent, which is right here. And inside the cotangent, we've been given another little function, which is going to be 2x minus 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to let u equal 2x minus 4. Okay, and if u equals 2x minus 4, then the actual problem that I'm working is going to be y equals cotangent u. Now, here's how chain rule works. If I've got y equals some sort of u, then dy dx is equal to du dx times dy du. So in other words, we have to take all the derivatives of all the different pieces, and once that's done, then uh, we're good to go, okay? So my, here we are, cotangent, the derivative of cotangent, dy dx, is equal to the derivative of cotangent, and the derivative of cotangent should be negative cosecant squared of u times now the du dx part. So we're going to do du dx here. And we're done. Oh, oh, we're not done. We've got to figure out what the du dx is. See, here's my u. u is 2x minus 4. So du dx is going to be equal to 2 because that's the derivative of the u part. So when I substitute my u's and my du dx in, I get this for my derivative. dy dx is equal to negative cosecant squared of u, which is going to be 2x minus 4, times 2. And most math teachers don't like to leave their trig problems looking this way. They like to have their coefficients in the front. It's just a little foible we've got. So we would actually clean this up by moving that 2 to the front. So we've got cosecant squared times 2x minus 4. Okay, so there you go, chain rule with trig function. And again, this could be something that you may probably see in the near future uh, on some sort of exam.